Hi Pipers, welcome back. Now that St. Patty's Day is over, we have two more holidays coming right around the corner, Passover and Easter. And I have some great stories for you for both. This story is called, This is the Matzah. It's written by Abby Levine, illustrated by Paige Billing Fry. This is the Matzah. This is the matzah, stacked in the aisle. Max reaches up to the top of the pile. Matzah for sandwiches, matzah for snacks, from matzah meal brownies and Seder, says Max. This is still early, but Ruth can't wait. Max helps her to fill up the Seder plate. This is the tablecloth, spotless white the silver in goblets sparkling and bright for this night so different from all other nights. And for Elijah, this is his cup. We fill it with wine. Will he pick it up? This is the blessing for fruit of the vine. Max drinks his grape juice, pretending that it's wine. This is the parsley we dip for the years. We labored in slavery and shed salty tears. After the blessing for fruit of the vine, when everyone sips from the grape juice and wine that sits on the tablecloth spotlessly white, for this night so different from all other nights, where Ruth placed the beautiful Seder plate that she filled up early, she just couldn't wait. Next to the matzahs, stacked in a pile, from the boxes Max chose in the Passover aisle. This is the matzah, that grandma divides, there's half for the table and half grandma hides. These are the questions. It's Ruth's turn to chant. She sings with some help from her aunt. This is the story. Each one tells a part. Max knows the names of the plagues by heart. In Egypt, we toiled long and ceaselessly. Moses asked Pharaoh to let us go free. But hard-hearted Pharaoh refused to relent until the terrible tenth plague was sent. We packed all we owned in the darkness and fled. We brought only dough, no time to bake the bread. We reached the Red Sea, which parted in two, leaving a path where we could cross through. Our dough baked to matzahs beneath the hot sun. That day in the desert, it fed every one. Tonight we imagine that we are that band rescued from slavery by God's outstretched hand. This is a sandwich of bitter and sweet and this is our dinner. Now it's time to eat. This is the hunt under pillows and chairs in the bathroom, the basement, and even upstairs for the matzah that grandma has hidden but where? This is the door that Max opens wide. He whispers, Elijah, please come inside. This is the wind that blows through the door. Isn't it open now more than before? Was it Elijah? Look at his cup. We know he's been here for he's drunk some wine up. This is the uncle who sings out of tune and louder than anyone else in the room. After the wind is blown through the door where Elijah has passed as so often before and all the children searched under pillows and chairs for the matzah that's hidden, but no one knows where. After the sandwich of bitter and sweet, the story we tell before we all eat, the parsley, the wine and the table so bright on this night, so different from all other nights. This is the end of our Seder. And then tomorrow we'll start eating matzahs again. There's matzo lasagna that's served piping hot, matzo balls bobbing inside the soup pot, matzo meal brownies, and matzo for snacks. We've got lots of matzo for passage, says Max. What a great story about the matzo for Passover.